that force is the one who's responsible to take care of you and take care of your children. Feed you, feed your children, provide you with food, shelter, water, electricity, com communication. That's God's job. Put the pressure on God, not yourself. When we think we're the one who's choosing this life and responsible, then you become a human being. You become a person. And the person is going to get into trouble. You got to defer the responsibility to God. Get out of the way. Let the boss takes care of things. So this is going to this pas passage is the test of trust. Can you endure pressure without breaking down? Can you stay focused? Can you keep going? And your mind's going to get bombarded. We're going to do that to you. We're going to give you a million thoughts. We're going to have your emotions go up and down. And your body will act weird. The money flow is going to get tighter because the money flow is connected. It's the life. It's your being. It's your life. Or you're dead. So the money is connected to your root chakra. That's a root chakra. That's a serious thing. Naturally, you're going to be panicking because we're talking about life and death. Money is life. It's associated that if you have money, you can live. If you're going to lose all your money, oh my God, I'm going to go on the street. What's going to happen to me? So the fear of death comes. What's going to happen to me? So what I recommend, my dear sister, and to everybody, and I understand, in order not to suffer, because we all go, I've gone through periods of being broke. I mean, it happens so many times, especially being in this work that I do. You've got so many ups and downs. You've got a lot of money, and then all of a sudden everything's gone, and you're broke, and you just have to finance all these different projects and pay for everything and all of a sudden you don't have anything. Oh my God, what the hell am I going to do now? Where am I going to come up with $30,000? Who am I going to borrow this time from? Because no one's answering my phone call anymore. And you panic. Everything comes. That's a part of the deal. It's a part of the process. This is what we have been signed up for. Either we signed up for it or they did it for us. It doesn't matter. That's a part of the adversity of being in duality. We're in dual world. We're going to have the good time. You're going to have the bad time. You're going to have easy time. You're going to have tough time. They're all going to come in this dimension. There is no way out. I don't care. You're a guru. You're enlightened. You're awake. You're a millionaire. You're da-da-da-da-da-da. It doesn't matter. This happens to everyone who lives in dual, dual life, duality. Even if you're fully 100% enlightened, you still have a body in a duality. Your body, your mind, your emotions are subject to duality. You're going to have to have pain and pleasure, even if you're fully realized. It won't make any difference. You're not alone. You're not the only person. But the key is to come back to the center, come back to the source. You come back to your source, you know down deep in your source, you know what's up, you know God loves you, you know God has brought you on this path, you know you're taken care of. They're not going to leave you out. They didn't bring you all the way here to just leave you. It's not a part of the deal. 
They're taking you home. So this passage is a passage to home. And it's scary and it's frightening. It is. The times in life is frightening. You're about to lose everything. You're about to lose your arm. You're about to lose your children, your family, because you're in a lawsuit. And this big ass corporation is going to take everything. Or your ex husband, wife is going to take everything, fairly or unfairly. It's not going to be always going our ways. Well, but we went my way for 40 years. Well, now it's not going to go your way anymore because you're in duality. Duality is going to come both sides. Now, how do I deal with this? Okay, Zarathustra, enough. You keep saying these things. Give me some tools. How do I work with it? What's in there for me? So, the best way that I recommend, there's different ways. Obviously, when you're in a situation like this, it's very hard to be silent. It's hard to go back and be still because the money's getting tight. You're getting all these deal uh, bills phone bill, electrical bill, gas bill, you know, water bill, TV, cable bill, things break down. Life is expensive. You have to make money to pay for all these things to just have a basic life. There's stuff there to do. You need money. Of course. So, and then it's getting tighter and tighter. And so I can't sit and meditate. Naturally, of course you can't sit and meditate. Because it's tough. Because it's raining. It's storming. So what do I do? The thought comes. The mind starts to do these things. The I thought comes. What's going to happen to me? So this is what you do. And this is the pearl. Pay attention because I'm giving you the pearls. Okay. And I didn't just come to this thing overnight. 30 years, I worked my ass off and invested time, money, going sitting with different gurus and teachers, different countries, different places. You know, it's investment. That's a lot of investment because you're not working and you're not making money. And you can't have a home. All of your friends are having homes. They have family. They have gone. Their businesses is great. And you're just sitting there with the lungi around your, your waist. Sitting with some guru in the middle of nowhere. And maybe the guru sees you. Maybe he doesn't see you. But everyone else is building up their lives. You're broke. And they make fun of you. And you always have to go to them to borrow money from them. And they look at you like, eh, look at this guy is wasting his life. Naturally. So you are investing your time and money and your youth into this thing. And you don't even know if you're going to get anything out of it either. You know, you may come out of a loser at the end of the day out of it. That possibility is there. Because not only you didn't get enlightened... But you're broke, and now your youth is gone. So now you don't have any energy to go back and build something. So you have to do whatever you have to do to make a living. So pay attention, because I'm sharing with you that it took me 30 years to get it. It's not something easy. I just don't want to give it to you, and you just listen to it, and eh, okay, I'm too busy on my phone, on Tinder, or Facebook, or whatever. No, this is something that it, I worked very hard to get it, and now I'm sharing it with you. The I thought, your thought, me, I, Zarathustra, Suzanne, Sarah, Hilde, Monica, Ali, John, this thought comes, me, I, 